Hi everyone, what's up? Dr. Goti here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to run your PS3, PS4 or any other console or device that has HDMI output on your multi-display setup. It could be iFinity display or NVIDIA. It doesn't matter. Why you may ask? Maybe you just want to play in your room with no distractions instead of the living room and use your multi-display setup. Now I wanted to do this so I want to share with you how I did it. Now this project is going to cost $250 and it's radical. Now the first thing you need is the Avermedia Extreme Cap U3. It's a very good capture card. Now you might be thinking, I don't really want to capture anything, I just want to play on the multiple display. Well, this is the thing that allows you to do that. Lag free. That's why we, we're getting this, because there's three displays that have three separate ports and we want to put one port into all three of them. So we need one of these that does 1080p, 60 frames per second, lag free. Now if you want to see a review of this, I'll put a link in the description by Blunty, who did a very nice review on this device. Now, if you have a Sony device, PS4 or PS3, you're going to need an extra thing, which is one of these. Now these ones, what are they? This is a powered, make sure it's powered, powered HDMI splitter. What these do is bypass the copyright protection thing imaging that's on the HDMI's, HDMI output of the PS3 and the PS4. That you can then, you know, use it to view the actual console. Now let me show you how that works. Come on over. Now let's get to it. When you've connected everything, you have to just run the software. And it'll come up like this. And we'll go through the wizard. And all we do is turn on our PlayStation 3 device, or if you have PlayStation 4, you can turn that on. Now I have another screen here that's directly connected to the PS3. And um, basically one is going to this monitor and the other one is going to the computer. Just to show you if there's any lag or if there's any delay whatsoever that we're going to get on here. So as you can see, it came up. Now if you didn't have uh, an a, a powered HDMI splitter, the screen would be black and it would just say HDCP, HDCP. Now, the powered HDMI splitter will take care of that. You will get something like this. Now to demonstrate this, I've chosen Metal Gear Peace Walker because it runs at 60 frames per second, much like the games that are on PS4 right now. So let's see how it goes. I'm gonna record this session so you can actually see or time it if you like with the um, this monitor. This monitor is a straight input. This one goes through the capture card and then comes to the uh, screen. So you can actually pause or you know, slow down the display to see how much delay there is. But as far as I can tell, there is none. Now let's demonstrate. So here we are with a mission. This is just the target practice. So I can show you how long it takes for me to shoot. And in real time, you'll see it here. And it, in the capture card, you'll see it here. Now I'm recording at the same time so you can see if you're doing maximum load, what's going to happen. So here we are. We're just going to shoot here. And we're going to do the same thing here. There's a delay in the game, but you'll see. You see, there is no delay. You can play on your infinity displays or your NVIDIA surround. So another neat little trick you can do is that I have my Nexus 10 right here and I've connected the OTG cable to a wireless controller and the HDMI is going directly into the capture card. Well, there you have it. 
my Nexus 10 with nice resolution on the multiple displays and I can actually sit back and enjoy a little game join me So I hope that was helpful for my first video from Dr. Goatee, and I hope you come back. Cheers.